The quarantine 15 is affecting even the youngest of Americans. Doctors across the country are seeing pediatric patients gaining weight as they spend more time at home than usual. Amira David has a look at how one family is working to rebound to better health. When we asked about the trend of your kid's way to miss this pandemic, over half of those surveyed said they had a child experiencing weight gain. Kids of all ages are seeing some changes in their weight. Dr. Molly O'Shea, a Bloomfield Township pediatrician, says she's been tracking her patients over the last several months. We're especially seeing it in those middle school and high school age kids. Online schooling has eliminated the opportunity for kids to get outside and play on the playground during recess or participate in organized sports, all of which doctors say provides critical exercise. Kids are living a more sedentary lifestyle with excess time being just steps away from food all day. Roaming into the kitchen, finding something to eat and leaving again. And that kind of eating uh, can lead to, easily lead to becoming overweight. Huntington Woods mom, Erin Duchan, faced that challenge with her two girls early on. Initially when they went virtual, there wasn't as much structure, a lot of just I need something to do. Can I have a snack? But over time, Erin found a way to nip that problem in the bud. Keeping snacks at a minimum uh, and focusing more on meals, making sure, kind of checking in with them. Are you hungry or are you bored? Because if it's just about boredom in this household, there's a solution for that too. You're looking at a training wheels bike turned exercise machine all made possible by placing the bike's training wheels right into a pair of shoes. And voila, no need for pricey exercise equipment on your wish list when you've got this gem. But she also leans on some other no-cost ways to keep her kids active, from YouTube yoga for kids to scavenger hunts on various floors of the house, play different games where they, it involves running up and down the stairs. Whether it's having a family dance party with your uh, school age kids or building an obstacle course in your basement, things like this are ways that you can stay active and have some fun as a family. Get your body moving. That's the prescription Dr. O'Shea gives to her patients. And it doesn't have to be contained to the indoors. Going outside in the winter is underrated. Um, we should all be spending time outside regardless of the weather. As long as there's not snow and ice on the ground. Then there's no excuse. Here's the rebound rundown. To curb the need for all day eating, provide filling, well-balanced meals and snacks. Stick to whole fruits and veggies as much as possible and make sure school-aged kids get at least an hour of physical activity every day. It sure can be a challenge. That was Amira David reporting. Now, if you're looking for more ways to help your children keep those pandemic pounds in check, we've got more information for you at fox13now.com.